Hey there, are you trying to get your iPhone photos from your iPhone to your PC? I'm here to show you how to do it. Hey, it's Molly here from Pixology, where we've been helping people organize and save their photos for over 10 years. Recently, we did a survey asking our clients about their smartphone challenges, and we learned that 95% of them wanted to save their pictures on their computer, which is great because that's what we, we teach and we think it's the best solution for your picture so that you have a copy in your house in your possession, backed up to an external hard drive and to a cloud storage site like forever. So I wanna show you a few things on the iPhone just to kind of help prepare you for getting the pictures over to the PC. All right, we're looking at my photo camera roll here. I see everything in my library, and I just wanted to point out that if you click the search button, you can search for a period of time. So I have December 2023 typed in there, and I could just click See All, and I could go through and quickly just select the ones that I know are not keeper photos. Like I would never use them again. So I see some information there. I'm gonna just hit the trash can and let it go. It's really good to delete pictures off your phone that you'll never need again, because if you copy them to your computer, now they're in two places. So let's get rid of the stuff that you don't need. The next thing that I want you to be aware of on your phone is the settings. So I'm going to just go over to my settings and I'm going to scroll down to two places. First we're going to look at the photos setting and I'm going to tell you that if you have the optimized iPhone storage on, your pictures are being fully stored up in the cloud with just thumbnails on your phone. And they will not show up when you wanna transfer them to your computer. Uh, some of them might, but the majority will be up in the cloud. So you definitely wanna download and keep originals to get those originals off. And when you're just doing a month at a time, this is pretty easy. If your iPhone has thousands of pictures, you're gonna to have to be systematic in transferring them over. I keep the iPhone storage on because I'm pretty on top of deleting pictures and I actually don't use a PC, I use a Mac, which there's a different system for. Anyway, optimized iPhone storage could be a problem for you. I also just want to scroll down and look at the bottom where it says transfer to Mac or PC. This is referring to the file type. iPhones are set to take hike files, H-E-I-C. They take up less space and iPhone, Apple was just trying to help consumers be able to have more pictures on their phone. The problem is some programs you can't use hike files. Like if you're gonna be uploading to forever from your computer, right now hike files don't go up, it's just JPEGs. Anyway, you want this to be set at automatic. Automatically transfer the photos and videos in a compatible format, which is the JPEG file. In the camera settings, first we're going to look at formats. You can change the camera capture to be most compatible. This will take your pictures in the JPEG format and then you'll never ever have to worry about hike files because they'll be JPEGs. So that's just another way to avoid the hike problem. Next up, I wanna look at preserve settings. This is gonna help you with the live photo problem. Live photos are those pictures that you take that are moving for a couple seconds. What that actually is creating is a photo and a video, a short video that they're kind of tied together when they're on your phone. But when you transfer those to your PC, they will be two separate files. Live photo, if we go down to the bottom, we want to turn this on. And it's, it's kind of confusing to say this, but what that does is when you close your camera, whatever the live photo setting is will be preserved. So I try to turn that off and then it will stay off rather than automatically resetting to live photo turned on. So let's just go back to the camera 
and you can see at the top right corner the live setting is off i i try to make sure it's always off when it updates i think apple turns that live setting back on so it's it just keeps kind of occurring so you want to definitely keep an eye on that live setting to keep it off now some people like it and that's a separate issue for another day that is pretty much what i wanted to show you about your photos on your phone please do this on a monthly basis get them to your computer it's so much easier to manage your pictures that way let's now connect your phone with your usb cable and i have to use an adapter this pc behind me is it's two years going on three years old and even back then it did not come with a usb port i'm gonna just insert it in here as soon as i plugged my iphone in this window popped open that's fantastic now i do need on my iphone to allow the computer to have access to it All so right. now that i've allowed it i can double click on internal storage and you can see all these folders of photos it's fantastic apple started naming the folders by months and years a, a while back and it's so much easier than the way it used to be so here's the december 2023 12 folder and i'm going to open it and you are going to see like a whole mess of stuff i don't really mess around with this i think it's possible that you could delete something and well let's just try it so here i am 2341 and if i hit delete it will permanently delete it so do not mess with this unless you are intentionally wanting to delete pictures okay the rest of this, there's some, you know, there's some movies in there. There's these .aae files. These are sidecar files that are in there because I edited the picture. I cropped something or I made it brighter. Who knows? The changes that I made on my phone are tied up in the sidecar file and I don't care about them. I just want the original picture and any edits that I made are minimal so I don't worry about it. I'm going to right click on the file explorer at the bottom and open a second window and you got to get used to having two windows open because it makes it so easy. I am next going to click on my desktop where I keep my photos to organize folder. Now I have it empty to be nice and clean for you. And all I'm going to do is drag this folder over and notice that it says copy to photos to organize. I'm copying the whole folder over. And I do this because that way I don't have to like figure out you know which pictures i just want to bring everything over and i'm going to clean it up on my computer we're going to let this transfer it finished up faster than 15 minutes so now that my photos are copied over i can close the iphone storage here i'm just going to close it and like i said i leave my pictures on there some people might delete them once they're off on the pc it's up to you so now we are in my photos to organize because even though I copied this folder over, you know, and I deleted some pictures off of my phone already, we have some more cleanup to do in here. So I'm going to right click on the folder and rename it immediately. We use a formula that's four digits for the year, two digits for the month. You can add two digits for the date if you I have a specific date and then a description so I'm just calling it December photos then I'm going to open it and now we're going to see like this whole jumbled mess I, I did take a lot of videos because it was the holidays for my kids concerts anyway right off the bat I can see a couple photos here 2340 these are the, that's a live photo. So I know I'm going to delete those right away and get rid of that. And I, I know I can get rid of all these .aae files. So what I do is I just type in the search aae. And now I see just the aee files. And I'm going to delete those because I don't mind just having the original pictures as I took them. So we'll delete it. I'm going to click cancel there. And now they're gone. And I'm back looking at my folder. 
And now I can see, okay, I've got some photos in here for information. I'm going to delete that. It was our, our little card. And, you know, I can go through and edit these further. So, like, there's another one. And, you know, you're going to just spend time cleaning up the folder so that this is truly your memories you want to save. Now, I can tell I've got work photos in here. So, I could just go up to home and click new folder and type in work photos because I like to keep those separate and I'll just I know this is work and I can just drag them right into the work photos folder so I'm just pulling them up and dropping them and notice how it says move to work photos so they're just being moved and that's how you would go about cleaning up your folder a little bit further the last step that we recommend is uploading your photos to forever and I'll show you what that looks like we are now in my December photos album in my forever account and this is optional but we love seeing pictures and such an easy way to share I could share the whole folder if I like um, and I'll just show you when I back out into the 2023 photos you can see all the other months that I have uploaded as well. I hope this helps you get your photos from your iPhone to your PC. Remember you're looking for that Apple iPhone in the navigation pane on the left and be sure to let your phone <laughs> know that it's okay to trust the computer and start copying those pictures over. And if you need help with your pictures, I love chatting with people about their challenges. You can see a link below for our research calls. If you need more help on working with Windows File Explorer, watch this video next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you the next time.